Hello, thank you for tuning in to this week's read. I'm in the middle, yeah. Um, these readings are valid for whenever you come to them. For the tarot portion, I'm using the Star Tarot. It's a second edition on there by Kathy McLeland. There's the whole front of the box. Uh, there's a website for Kathy at the top here. Feel free to freeze frame and check that out, kathymcleland.com. Supportive Oracle Cards. Wisdom of the Hidden Realms Oracle Cards by Colette Baron reed uh, Is that what's... There's websites at the bottom. I want to say that she has her own website. I'll look real fast. I, I want to say it's on the back here. Yep. There we go. There's a picture of Colette. And at the bottom of that paragraph next to her picture is her website. There's a couple other ones below that. So feel free to check out whatever you would like. And for the last part, I do use dice. I use, I think this is 21-sided. 21-sided, and it does omit zero, so it doesn't do the fool. But um, close enough, I make it work. I use the four-sided dice for the element, and then I use this 14-sided dice for the uh, minor arcana. Uh, I want to say, I want to say that the 14-sided dice came from here, MathArtFun.com. Feel free to check that out if you're interested. And then the bigger one came from Tom Anders. Which there's, I know there's a website on here. I just don't see it. Impact Miniatures, I think. Hopefully that um, focuses so you can see it if you're interested. On the back here is um, that thing. So if you want to use that thing, go ahead and use that thing. All right. So with that being said, if you want a reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. This is James, the number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the current pricing also, my Instagram is below if you want to go on there. So I'm just on here in Instagram. Um, and without further ado, let's go on to your reading. Hello, Taurus. Thank you very much for tuning in to this week's read. These readings are valid for whenever you come to them. That being said, what do we have for Taurus? Um... This, this might be good. Some of these cards are usually not that favorable, but for some reason, I feel like this might be really good for you. Okay, one last card. The Empress. Okay, so don't get caught up in the gen gender of the card, but there's something... Like, I feel like we got a kind of... I think it's time to kind of fight for it. <laughs> oh, okay. Um, it's not that bad. When I say fight, it's kind of like, you know, somebody's going to give you a hard time and it's just about holding your ground. Taurus could hold their ground like nobody's business. So I don't, I'm not really worried about that. Um, I keep getting... I, for a lot of you, I feel like there's two different people involved with this. So it's you and two other people. Keep that, at, take it with a grain of salt, it's a general read. But I get like, it could either be that you are deep into the healing profession, or this has to do with something where somebody has been doing better, maybe somebody made a mistake and they've learned from that mistake and they have really turned it around. I keep looking like when you're looking back, you're looking at something where there's been a lot of improvement. It's the healing card, the Four of Swords is like the healing card to me. But I feel like things have been corrected and have gone a lot better. Um, the Four of Swords does talk about a rest sometimes, but it's usually like I consider it a productive rest. Kind of like, you know, after you've had the flu or something or hurt yourself and resting in your body is healing. It's like an active resting. It's kind of like things have improved. I keep getting improvement here. And I feel like I'm, I'm very happy with this improvement. Um... I'm happy with it. That depends on you exactly how much. <laughs> like, you know, was it perfect? I don't know about perfect. I don't even know if you're looking for perfect. 
but it's kind of like it's improved. I'm happy that it improved. I'm happy. I feel like I'm happy with that aspect, aspect of the situation. And there's more work to be done. I feel like we're not done. There's more to be done here. Um, and you're very, very, very bonded to this. And it's kind of like we're not done and I'm not going to let it stop here. I don't think anybody's going to do that anyway. I don't think they're going to try to slow it up or stop it. But I'm not going to let people change it. That's for sure. We're going well. We're in a good direction. We're going to stick this direction. And we're going to keep improving the situation. Um, uh, I kind of feel like somebody's like lecturing me a little bit. I'm feeling that. So... You're not going to put up with any ridiculousness. But, like, I hope nobody has the nerve to actually try that. Let's go a little farther, because there's something up here. When I see the word Lord, when I see the word Lord, it's kind of like, it can be a good card. It can be a not-so-good card. It usually has a mix of, like, too much communication with good information and a little bit of, uh, you know, blowing smoke up somebody's butt. Um, that's how, kind of how I see it. It's kind of like, all right, we don't need the frills. Like, you know, don't tell me stuff that's not true. Like, you know, don't, don't act like I make the best cake in the world if you don't really like it. Like, you know what I mean? Or if it's kind of like it made the grade, like, let's not fall over ourselves like it's the best cake on the planet either. Um, I don't like, I don't like the idea of somebody like saying something's better than it actually is. There's something with this situation where I feel like I know something is off. I just feel like something is off. And I feel like I'm looking at it and I'm like, all right, something's a little off here. But when I get that Eight of Swords, I feel like I don't, I'm not looking to cause a problem. <laughs> okay. You've got the Five of Wands coming up, so the problem's going to happen either way. Um, I feel like I'm trying to not... I'm trying to not call something out or I'm trying to not look too closely, maybe? You got a lot going on anyway. It's kind of like, all right, I know something right over there. Maybe it'll fix itself. I don't know. It's kind of like I don't want to deal with it if I don't have to. It's one of those things, like, if I don't have to, can it just solve itself? Can it please just solve itself? I keep getting that. Um, but I feel like when I get that Eight of Swords, it's like I don't want to do it. And I'm kind of like, do I have to? I keep getting that, do I have to? The Eight of Swords is like a trap card. But it's kind of like I'm, I'm choosing to not be trapped into it. It's ironic, but I feel like I'm choosing to not. Ironically, I feel like this card is saying, no, 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 we're going to have to deal with this. <laughs> no, no, no. Um, the Dragon's Duel coming in with somebody who's not a bad person. Take it with a grain of salt. These are general reads. Like, they care about what they care about. They, they might be... I don't know, I get this kind of diplomatic, they try to get extra stuff for the people they like. They'll help people they don't, but they won't go out of their way for them, that's for sure. I don't feel like it's a bad, but there's something here where, you know, I feel like you have to call something out here. There's something here, they're not, I don't know, I feel like I can see somebody that I'm, I'm like, they're a good person, but they make some wonky decisions once in a while, and it's kind of like, oh, this is a little wonky, I have to say something. Because I do get that there's a conflict coming either way. But I keep getting for you also, it's kind of like, no, it's coming. Again, this reading, if this reading is hitting, this reading is not creating this moment. It's just giving you a heads up. <laughs> it's either there or it's not. And I feel like there, I feel like a big piece of this reading is kind of like, realize that this is better if you actually accept that you're going to have to kind of like have this confrontation. The sooner you accept that, the sooner you can start preparing for it, because I get that you're going to put a lot of facts behind what you're about to say. What you want to be careful, what you want to be careful about is ironic. You don't want to get along with this person too, too much. Not with this subject. Like, we can get along and be nice, but we don't want to be too agreeable. Be careful. Don't be too agreeable. Because I feel like that might be one of the reasons is because they are good for the situation, but whatever's going on here, we need to kind of nip that in the bud or we need to kind of like call it out and be like, no, 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 we can't be doing that. So they're saying don't be too agreeable. What we want to do is we want to, we want to form a new plan and we want them to fix it. I feel like that, that King of Wands, I feel like it's them. We really got to look at what's really going on here. We got to be, we got to really think about it. Um, 
We don't want to be too agreeable. We don't want to be overly friendly. Um, and it's, I feel like Taurus says what Taurus needs to say, but we like, it's not about you saying what you need to say. It's about making sure it's heard and then kind of pushing it forward. Like, nope, nope, we need to start creating a plan. And I feel like they, they're saying, start creating a plan for this to change. Show what you want, show where you need it to be. I feel like they'll take, they'll run with it and they'll fix it. Um, if you're too agreeable, I don't feel like I don't feel like I'm pushing my point too far. I don't feel like I'm like really like saying no, 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 no. This needs to change. I feel like if you also bring in like a plan, like there's here's a couple different ways you could do it. You can either go that path and do it this way. You can take that path and do it this way. I feel like you'll give two choices. Kind of like you can either do it this way or you can do it that way. But this needs to go there. This is over here. That's wrong. This needs to go over there. Because that's where it's going to be needed. If you have it way over there when we need it, we're going to have to go running all over the place to try to find it. Unacceptable. Put it where it's supposed to go and make sure it stays safe. Um, I don't feel like you're being rude or mean. I do feel like somebody might backlash on you saying that you're being rude or mean. You're not. Be careful of that. That's a manipulation tactic. Even people who aren't bad people can have toxic traits. Let's keep that in mind. And we're still not going to put up with it. Just because they're a good person doesn't mean we put up with toxic traits. Let's remind, remind, remind ourselves of that. Okay. Um, just, I don't know. Whatever you have to do to... I feel like it depends on the type of Taurus you are. Just don't don't back down or don't... or like If you have to, kind of like, no. Telling you the facts and telling you what needs to happen is not being rude or mean. It's telling you what needs to be done. <laughs> it's telling you what needs to be done. It's just, no. <laughs> no. That's not rude or mean. I don't know. I keep getting that somebody's going to get that backlash, and it's not. It's not. It's, it's just, it's not that. It's not rude or mean. Um, this is going to be one of those things where when it's, when things are put where they're supposed to be, when they're done the way they're supposed to be, I feel like this person especially will realize that, you know, they got to they gotta keep you in the loop a little better. They got to kind of listen a little better because when they do it the way that you're telling them to do it, it's not a struggle. Things make more sense. You know what I mean? You're like, keep that over where we're going to use it. Store it where we're going to use it so that when we need it, we just like walk over here, open it up, boom, it's there. Don't, don't store it like on the third floor when we need it on the first floor. That makes no sense. We're on the first floor. We gotta go hunt it down, go find it, get, bring it all the way back down and hook it up. No. Keep it not only on the first floor, but in the room it's gonna be used in. Store it there if we can. That way you need it, you go get it, you put simple, easy. And I feel like they're gonna get it in the long run. Like, oh yeah, that does make sense. To you it's gonna be like, well, obviously it makes sense. <laughs> it's not funny, but it's funny. Because to you it's gonna be like, well, obviously that makes sense. But to them, they have to see how it works. Um, I don't know. They just had to see how it works. To you, it's going to be painfully obvious. Like, well, of course that makes sense. Um, <laughs> as you keep going forward with this person, there's two people. I keep getting two, so maybe there's two people that are very similar here. I don't know. I keep getting there's a two. It keeps popping back up, so whatever the two is supposed to be. Um, keep your eye on it. Hold your ground. And pay attention to what's going on around you. You know... Choose your battles wisely. This should get easier. The more this person, I keep getting two, so maybe there's two people. The more they see that, you know, when you listen to Taurus, life is easier. A lot of things got to get done and things, a lot more gets done and things are a lot more effective. You know, we're not we're not going, you know, to the third floor to get something we always use on the first floor. Mm. You know, um, hold your ground. So don't let things backslide, but also when I'm getting the Hermit card backing up that Nine of Wands, and then you got this going with the flow, you're going to see places in the future after they start acting nicer or after, I feel like you're going to get some acknowledgement, kind of like, oh, you know what, Taurus, that did work out well. I think that was the best move. You're going to know it was, but you're just that's when you're going to realize it's time to kind of put in some suggestions when those moments happen, I feel like you're going to have suggestions. I don't have to tell you to have them. You'll have them. That's when, when you start getting, like, some accolades for, like, things that you, you, you were holding the ground. Like, no, that has to 
be differently. This has to go better. This is how we need to do it. When they have not only listened, but they're seeing the outcome, that's when you start giving your two cents about these other things. Just very lightly, just very lightly start giving your two cents. Like, you know, if this was over there, you know, where we use it. If we have this other thing over there, can you imagine how much more effective that would be? Hmm, that's interesting. Um, however you need to say it. I feel like I'm a little bit more spicy with it. Maybe I shouldn't be, but you're going to be able to change a lot of things here. It's slow and steady wins the race. Taurus tends to be a fan of that anyway. So hopefully that's applicable to the situation. It's a general read, so maybe not, but you know what I mean? Once people see, like, you know, you listen to Taurus, things are easier and better and more effective, start putting in your two cents very casually, very, you know, just like, you know, background noise, kind of like, oh, you know, I wish that the, I wish the pantry was closer to the kitchen. I guess that would make more sense instead of going down cellar to get the stuff. I feel like if we could find a way to, you, you know, remove one of those things, you know, re, re, restock maybe a something upstairs, you know, so we could have the pantry stuff upstairs in the kitchen or very close to the kitchen instead of going all the way downstairs. I feel like that would make things so much easier. Stuff like that. I think this whole reading is about you're going to be surprised by holding your ground and actually not being too agreeable. Not only does life get better for you, it gets better for everybody else, not for nothing. So they're saying this is one of those battles it's worth fighting because it may not seem like it's worth it. This is a battle worth fighting. And it, I don't think it's going to be really that hard for you. It's just digging in your heels. And when Taurus wants to dig in their heels, you guys are champs at that. So this, they're just saying, this is the time to use that. It's not stubborn when it's effective. It's not stubborn when it's for the best. I'm just saying, in case somebody uses that against you. Like, oh, Taurus, you're stubborn. It's not stubborn if it's the right thing to do. It's resilient, maybe. <laughs> maybe. All right, I'm going to shut this down here. Hopefully that helps. Thank you for watching. If you'd like a direct reading from me, shoot me an email, jamesforastral at gmail.com. That's james number four, astral at gmail.com. If you're interested in the donation information, that's below. Same email. Thank you very much for watching, and have a great day.